Hello everyone. So welcome to all the fourth sem students. So this is one last video uh, with respect to the control system. As tomorrow you are having the exams, I know that. So this is one last video, and I wanted to discuss with you all some important questions or the most repeated questions from the previous year question papers and all. And I'm just going to analyze it, and I'm going to tell you some of the important set of questions, which there are high chances that these kind of questions might be repeating. Okay. So my humble request to each and everyone who is viewing this to please like this video. So I've kept a target of 600 likes to this video. I know that you people would do it. So please, please like this video, guys, and move further. And in this video, we are going to analyze in detail all the previous year papers of different schemes and different papers. And we are going to shortlist some of the important questions from all the five modules, which are there are high chances that you might be they might be appearing in the exams. Okay. So the problem part in control systems, you cannot expect the repeated questions because the subject is only like that. We have hundreds and hundreds of problem in mechanical systems, signal flow graph, block diagrams and all. You cannot expect the repeated questions. But some type of questions would be coming that we are going to discuss in this video. Okay. So this is not like PCS or EMT where the where there, there were some important set of questions and that there are high chances that it will be getting repeated. Okay. So that's why I have told you in my videos, uh, video lectures that the practice is must. Many, many problems you have to practice so that you could be scoring good in this subject. Okay. Because there are no chances of any repetition of questions. But still, I have tried to analyze it and I have shortlisted some of the important questions. Okay. So please like this video, guys. So now let's start analyzing. So this paper here is the my personal paper when when I, I was having the exam fourth semester that is the last year I had the fourth semester exam for control systems so this is that question paper okay so let us see here uh, which and all other questions had come and these are some other scheme papers so this is a 2023 scheme uh, not 2023 uh, 2023 examination paper this is 2022 this is a uh, 18 19 scheme and this is 2023 okay so from all of these we let us analyze some of the questions in every question paper if you see here the first question is always defining control system and difference between open loop and closed loop system you see all the papers here first question is the same that is define control system and differences between open loop and closed loop see all the papers i'm showing it to you all what is control system distinguish between open loop and closed loop compare open loop and closed loop with one example Define control system, compare open loop and closed loop. Okay. So you with these you could be analyzing. I'm showing you with proof that first question is must, that is defining control system and compare and the difference between open loop and closed loop control system. That is a fixed question. Okay, from module one. Then one question, one or two questions, uh, not one or two, most of the questions would be from the force voltage and force current analogy and the uh, mechanical and the rotational system torque voltage and torque current analog okay so rest all the questions from module one you see here so this is one uh, rotational system translation rotational system diagram this is mechanical system questions so you see here in each paper the mechanical systems are completely different from one another because i've told you right the questions are not the same they are uh, they are not repeated because uh, all of these block diagrams and uh, mechanical systems and uh, signal programs are unique in every question so that's why there are high chance there are very less chances that the questions are not repeated repeated so these are the different set of mechanical and rotational system okay one question is this one be uh, be prepared this question would be definitely coming in the exam first question then some mechanical system where they would be asking you to obtain the equivalent electrical in force voltage and force current analogy you could be expecting that for eight months okay so for this subject uh, the 10 marks question, I don't, I guess they won't be asking it because this is the previous year paper uh, of same scheme, 2022 scheme. So this one paper, we, uh, my personal uh, question paper, I had kept this. I'm going to put it in the description also. Also from this video, also you can access it and see. In this, you see here, all the questions uh, in the one, one question, they had asked three, three, three sub questions. Okay. So that's why uh, 10, 10 marks question won't be asked. So from module one, then module two, you see here. First, they had asked for a signal flow graph, block diagram. So all the questions are related to signal flow graph and block diagram. Okay. So all, all the questions are unique. So there are no much topics in module two. One is block diagrams and signal flow graph using Mason's gain formula. Okay. Where this question you see here, 3C, this diagram, 
is uh, multiple times repeated okay so this you uh, this i also already covered in my conceptual and model paper also this has come so make a note of it this would be definitely uh, arriving in the exam then block diagrams and different signal flow graphs uh, these are the set of questions okay then from module 3 you see here one question is with the help of graphical representation or mathematical representation explain the following test signals that is step signal ramp signal impulse signal parabolic signal then uh, this is 5b that is you should be finding the coefficients kp kv ka steady state error along with the open loop transfer function mentioned here with the value of r of t so like this one question you could be expecting with respect to transfer functions from uh, time response analysis from module 3 so this is uh, one numerical again uh, which i did you see here these two are the important set of numericals where they are asked it for 10 10 marks so here let us see some numericals from module 3 again you see here this question explain the following test signals step signal ram signal parabolic signal in that in this paper also it was there here also it is there then uh, here also some problems are there in this paper also from module 3 step input derivation they have asked it then uh, expressions for this is very important okay that is starting from output equation c of t you should be deriving for rise time and peak overshoot so there are four right rise time fall time delay time uh, peak overshoot and these are the important set of derivations which i have already covered so any one of them would be definitely asking then one question related to controllers pi and pd controllers would be asked okay so here we here i have one more set of paper in this module 3 they have asked for again ex obtaining the expressions for time constant rise time settling time in the first order system okay then the derivations of peak time and peak overshoot this is must question the high chances that you they might be asking this question short note on pid controllers so these are the important stuff from module 3 okay now let us go to module 4 module 4 you see here root locus and body plot are fixed in every question paper you see one question related to root locus and one question related to body plot would be definitely asked okay so in the previous year they had asked 7a one question as find the number of roots with positive real zero part and negative part where they have given the characteristic equation next is they have asked to find the real values and marginal values of k for the given unity feedback systems and frequency of sustained oscillations these problems have already covered and this they asked for angle condition in root locus by testing the following points then you here you see here one question direct question with respect to root locus and one direct question with respect to the body plot okay so every question paper you see here module 4 one question related to root locus here sketch the root locus and one question related to the characteristic equation and the body plot would be definitely asked okay here you see here this is the body plot question here from module 4 uh, Routh Hurwitz criterion explanation they had asked range of k and with respect to the characteristic equation one question and this is root locus and body plot see this question here you see this this question only you see here uh, k into s plus 6 divided by c into s plus 1 plus s plus 2 this question is repeated in all the papers here and this paper also same question had come okay so root locus and body plot is a must in all the papers then uh, module 5 one question related to nyquist plot and in the previous year they had asked the lead lag compensate so you could be expecting that in module 5 and in the second part they had asked all the questions related to the state 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 space analysis okay first question is uh, with respect to differential equation you should be uh, co constructing the state model transfer function of control system with respect to that using signal flow graph you should be obtaining the state model and state transition matrix is a fixed question state transition max is it, fixed okay you should be able to answer my suggestion is that in the in one part they would be completely asking all the state transition questions so attempt that because this uh, state transition module uh, under state transition it is very easy but whereas if you compare it to, with the Nyquist plot and polar plot they are very complicated and uh, I know that it is tough so high chances for getting marks if we attempt the questions related to the state space analysis okay here also you see here from module 5 they had asked all the questions related to state space only one is Nyquist and here they have asked for all the state space okay so these are the important set of question papers 
where uh, this is one problem like this one problem also for body plot uh, there are high chances that they might be asking it so yeah so this was it guys these were the important set of uh, question papers now we have one uh, question bank that i'm going to discuss with you all and uh, let us see uh, whatever we have discussed in these question papers whether it's matching or not okay let us see that now so this is that question bank so here there are uh, all the set of questions which are uh, which are uh, repeated in the previous year papers in one uh, pdf only so this is with respect uh, they have uh, az documents have provided this so from module one you see here one question i have told you distinguish between open loop and closed loop they, uh, they would be definitely asking one with respect to FE and FI analogous circuit, one question. Then uh, merits and demerits of open loop and closed loop, that is uh, advantages and disadvantages. So one uh, mechanical system question. Then uh, again, this is one mechanical system. So this is the block diagram question from uh, module 2, I guess. Uh, block diagram and uh, signal flow graph. Uh, so this, these questions you could be practicing, okay. And this is one more block diagram question. This is a signal flow graph using Mason's gain formula. Then, so these are different. This is one question that signal flow graph. Then these things and all are not required. Under stability, one is uh, this question using route criteria, uh, ranges of K and the uh, characteristic equation should be fi uh, finding using this unity feedback. This one question. Explain route of its criterion. Then range of k then uh, investigate the stability using characteristic equations stability with respect to the characteristic equation then uh, sketch the root locus root locus should be definitely asked so there are two problems here root locus problems okay so this is the root locus then we have one problem related to body plot i guess so yeah this is the this is the problem body plot polar plots they won't be asking it then introduction to state variable analysis all the questions you should be practicing it okay so this uh, question bank i'm going to put it in the description go and access it and uh, just go through it okay so we have an analyzed all the question papers okay that is one is the previous year question paper of the same scheme 2022 scheme this would be very important to you guys because it is a same scheme paper 2022 scheme because the model paper also was the same for you and for you guys and for our batch also so this one paper you should be thoroughly analyzing it this paper this uh, i have already put it in the description uh, uh, in the control system notes part only the pyqs folder is there in that all the question papers are there go and see it and uh, this question paper you just refer it once okay because uh, this is the one previous year paper only there are high chances that the questions might be repeated so that's all for the video guys Hope you understood uh, something. I hope you understood the important set of questions which are repeated from all the papers which I have analyzed. These papers I'm all, I, I have already put it in the uh, control system uh, 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 notes link in the drive drive link. Separate folder is there that is PYQ. Under that all the uh, important set of question papers from different schemes and different years. And one question bank is also there. Go and see it. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. All the best for the exams. Do well in the exams. And everybody would be passing with flying colors. Okay. Please do concentrate, do practice. Still more time is there. Do not stay lazy. Practice it. Okay. There are a few hours left for the exam. All the best. All the best. All the best. May everybody good take good marks. Thank you.